submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. I thought it was a vision. The day is finally here. It's been four beautiful years with you, and finally, I get to call you my wife. How far I have come because I struggle to even remember what life was like without you. Follow in the steps of our forefathers and submit yourselves to one another. In love and in purity, let each of you be faithful towards the other. According to the saying of our teacher, St. Paul the Apostle, the wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Where do I begin? I think 10th grade works. I knew there was something different about you since we were just high schoolers. You were extremely talented and athletic, yet extremely humble. You were extremely quiet and shy, yet extremely wise and knowledgeable. You didn't care for the things that were wrong, that were wrong or popular, but strengthened your relationship with God instead. You blessed daughter and happy bride Maria, you have heard what was commanded of your husband David, so you must honor and respect him. Do not disagree with him, but increase your obedience to him over what was commanded many times. And you, my blessed son, David, may the grace of the Holy Spirit strengthen you to take unto yourself your wife, Maria. Take care of her, as his parents did, in love and humility. I love you. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. How beautiful is this verse as it represents our marriage and the relationship between Christ and his church. Maria, I promise you that I will work hard every day to draw on the love of Christ for his church in order to love you in a right and Christian way. All my love, Duvi. I love you more than anyone in the world, and you are truly the best thing to ever happen to me. May God never ever keep us apart, my love, my best friend, my soulmate. Remembering that you have been crowned by the spiritual and heavenly marriage and confirmed by the grace of God, 
Remember that if you fulfill the divine commandments which urge you to look after your wife, the Lord will bless you in all what you do.